I've had an idea to build this J001 for a few years now, and it's finally came to the point where this is a good opportunity, a good time to build it since uh, Jackson's 40th anniversary is next year, and so would mine being a Jackson guitar builder as well for so many years. This guitar, J0001, uh, in the logbooks was written in as K.K. Downing's guitar. And I had Dave Ellison um, verify with K.K. Downing that he actually never had or played this guitar. So how it got in the logbooks that way, I'm not sure. So this is built from some old templates, which we needed to make new templates so we could reproduce this because we didn't keep very good track of when we made guitars back in the day because we thought we'd only make one and then we'd make another one and it'd be different. So this one, uh, I have these two templates, the neck template and the body template, which this was made really close to the same time Randy's V's were made. And maybe this has kind of been forgotten just due to the fact that Randy Rhodes' guitar became so popular and famous at the time. This guitar was probably made in 82, a couple years after Jackson started building the neck throughs. And most of the first ones were really rare and they were uh, not serialized or anything. They were just one-offs and a cu total custom shop for different people. And also, I do remember this guitar being made for uh, an artist named Vic Verger, which we made three or four for that guy. This guitar has a rosewood fretboard, 6100 jumbo fret wire, uh, pearl dots, the pointy head, and also it has one of the original style Floyd Rose bridges which has no fine tuners, which really makes it difficult for the player. You can see in some of the photos online which bridge it is, and it's just like this one, the old style bridge, which was currently used uh, on a Bumblebee EVH. It'll have the Snow White Pearl paint job, and you'll be seeing this at NAMM 2020. Some of the processes with this to make the body would have been, uh, I'll put two side tape on this pattern, I'll stick it down, I'll go to the pin router, router around the edges, and then I have another pattern that will uh, I'll be able to install the rear control pockets here. And uh, just wood, they're all wood templates that I use for the pickups and the bridge. And I've gotten to the point where I have the CNC make my patterns now because it's a lot more accurate than making pickup patterns uh, the old-fashioned way. The bevels, for instance, I'll go to the sander, sand them in, then I'll use my aluminum block like this here to make them straight. Uh, the back shape's all done by hand on the bag sander over there, and um, it's just all hand-labored. And this, this guitar actually is not all that complicated. It's still just your maple center blank with all their sides and a scarf joint with the truss rod in it and stuff, which is just, just the most basic neck through there is. This pointy headstock, it has the 15 degree angle. It has uh, the arrowhead shape, which was because of the, um, just the way it kind of matches the body. For the tuners, we, we just measure them out, poke it with an awl, and drill through on the drill press. There's, I don't even have a fixture for these with bushings or anything like that. It's just hand drilled, use a brad point, it'll go down the, uh, down the wood straight, it won't wander around like a, a V-tip drill would.